Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock Hedrick UK. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is an unusual shape. I am calling this the Squish Top Flat Topped Box or something similar. I don't know. Read the title and I'll have changed my name, I'm sure. But this is a box. And actually, I saw this shape on a project on Pinterest, but when I opened it, it required an electronic die cutter. And if you've followed me for long enough, you'll know that if I don't have anything like that at home. So if I can make something myself with a scoreboard, then I will. So as you can see, the top... Um, squishes in a bit like a milk carton style but it has a flat top and it's just closed with um, one of our antique brads and a hole so you can see you, this is one of those projects that you know when you've got something that is too big for a proper squish top box but needs something else so that's what it's for and it's got the flat top which is a bit unusual so you need a piece of cardstock that is eight and a quarter inches by 11 inches so that is 21 by 28 centimetres and now we're going to score it on the long side first and you score it at two inches five and a quarter seven and a quarter and ten and a half inches and don't worry about writing anything down you know the drill it's all going to be on my blog and then in metric that is five inches no, it's not at all it's five centimetres 13 and a half, 18 and a half and 27 and then turn it round and score it at 2 at 6 and at 7 inches which is 5, 15 and 17 and a half centimetres so you've got um, a 1 inch gap there and 1 and a quarter there which is 2 and a half centimetres and then yeah, I can't remember what that is three and a half I think so that's what's got the shallow top but the deeper part here okay right this is Lost Lagoon by the way this is one of our new in colours and it's lovely isn't it a nice colour and I pistachio pudding is my original colour there another in colour but that's the 2013-2015 this one is 2014-2016 so just folding my score lines and burnishing them Okay, dokie. Right. There are some bits to remove and some bits to cut away. What I want to do is work on the bottom first because that will help you to work out which is the top. So if I come round to here, so where you've got two panels, that is the, the top and that's the bit that flaps over. So where you've got one section, this is the bottom, and this skinny rectangle, don't need that one. So we'll get rid of that. And then cut up the other three score lines up to the horizontal. Okie dokie, right, so this part, this is where we're going to put our adhesive, so when you fold that round, that is the back, but actually the lid folds over from the back, so there's my seam, so if you're looking down on this, that's the thin part, this is the back, so therefore that part there is the lid, so we're going to get rid of that section, because that forms one half of the lid, and then the other six pieces all there so be handy with your scissors or maybe get out your trimmer if you're not so handy with your scissors and just cut straight along and that when you pinch it closed whoops let's drop everything that's going to come over and that's going to form the lid Right, so we want some DSP on it. Now this is the new All A Bloom DSP stack, which is the small stack with, oh, how many? 12 different sheets? Let's have a look, 48 sheets. Yeah, 12 different patterns, I think. A couple of each, and they're all double-sided. And they're beautiful, so pretty. This, whoops, this one, obviously is pistachio pudding and then the pale colors in the background. The one I've chosen, where is it? Here it is, has got the Lost Lagoon in the background. These measure, this one measures uh, three by two and a half inches, which is eight by six and a half centimetres. And that's going to go at the bottom. So not that section, but this one over here. And this one also measures three inches, but by one inch. And that's going to go at the top there. And that is eight by three centimetres. So that's where those are going to position. I'm going to round my corners. So I have my corner rounder here. Round off both those corners. Oh, let's throw that about. And this one as well. And depending on what your pattern is, 
Make sure your flowers are going the right way up. See, I've got my tulips going up the correct way. I didn't the first time, but we'll brush over that. <laughs> Some snail, and then position that there. And then the same down here for this one. And like I said, this is going to come over onto this part. Right, punch a hole in this one. Now I've got the little labels um, trio and I've grabbed one of them. It doesn't really matter so long as the hole is wide enough for whatever brad or closure it is you're using to go through. And now I can start sticking it together. So where's my sticky strip? There it is. It's going to have, oopsie daisy, a piece along there. And do keep it close to the score line. And then another piece, this is the front, so that's going to be the last piece we stick down. And this time keep it close to the edge. And if you've got something heavy going in, obviously you can put more adhesive on if you want. Um, I haven't. This is currently an empty box, as funnily enough you've seen, but you could fit soaps in there or chocolates or oh, a whole array of stuff could go in there. So fold in the sides and the bottom and then this last piece. And then pinch these in and you are going to need to help with your fingers so that it doesn't buckle and so when you open it when you release it it will stop it will resist there so you can see i move my hands out of the way it's resisting so that's as far as it's going to stop but obviously we want to stop it doing that and hence why i've got the brad so hold it into place so i'm holding it there and I'm going to punch a hole not quite in the centre of that gap, but not far off it. And keeping my fingers well out of the way, I hope. Pop that through, and I've got the antique brads, as I mentioned. And hopefully you can... I don't know how well you're seeing that. I haven't pushed it all the way through. There is a... there's room... there you go, you should be able to see that now. There is room for the piece of cardstock to go through. So I'm going to do the same again here. And that should pop through. There we go. And then finally a little bit of stamping. And because this is, you know, it's all a bloom, it's sort of garden-like, I decided that I wanted to use the new, I can't close that for a second, the new garden party stamp set, which is lovely. It's very pretty. I've used it quite a bit. And hidden under here, got a load of stuff all cluttering up my desk there. Piece of Whisper White. I've got my stamp ready prepped on my block and I've got the same Lost Lagoon ink and I'm going to punch that with the large oval punch so this is not the extra large, this is the large which nests with the scallop oval and at this point in time as I prepped I did think that I was going to do a scallop oval in Daffodil Delight, which is the yellow in the background, but I don't know if it's going to work. So let's have a look and see. That, do you know what? That's actually quite nice. I've got this is the scrappy piece that was from where I cut away before. I don't know which one I prefer now. Oh, definitely the Daffodil Delight. Ooh, that's lush. I like that. Right. <laughs> Decisions, decisions. As you know me well, I don't like to read. I create one sample and then I show you how to make it in different colourways just to see what it looks like. And I didn't know what this was going to look when I went, oh yeah, there's Daffodil Delight in the background. I'll use that. Didn't know what it was going to look like. It works, I think. There we go. Into the middle. Let's close this one back up again. You could use magnets. You've seen me. Whoops using magnets in my videos before or my projects you could use that you could I wouldn't use velcro dots personally but that's it it's a nice shape I rather like it I hope you do too thank you very much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon bye